Hi everybody, we're at Westwood Lakes in Boston today. Um, we're on the Falcon Lake and I'm here to fish slop. And you may ask, what is slop? It's a form of, of fishing shallow by creating a cloud so that you can make sure that fish keep in the upper layers. You could use pellets or maggots, but considering the conditions, today I'm using slop it consolidates all my fish in a tighter area and I just find that you know whether it's carp, F1s, we've even had a few barbel today, it's my go-to for catching big weights quickly in the upper layers. In terms of how you mix it, you just add water but what you're after doing is creating like a, a runny porridge consistency. Depending on how you want the colour to look determines on what quantity of ground bait that you're using in the different colours. Now added to this, you can use liquids as a scent trail. A lot of people would tend to use the F1 pellet soak, but for me, I prefer to use the Sweet Tiger liquid. Now this is from the carp scene but it's a natural food source, so you can't overdo it. You can add as much of it as you want. But the beauty of it is, it gives an even better cloud. So it hangs in that top layer for a lot longer, keeping your fish high up in the water. In terms of the rigs for today, I've got four top kits set up. Now these vary in different depths. All the floats are Tom Hardy shallow floats. The initial first rig is a 0.4 and I've got this set at 16 inches in depth. Then going slightly shallower, I've got a 0.2 set up in 12 inch and then another one in nine inch. And then lastly, I've got a dibber set at six inches deep. All my rigs have the same elastic, so it's eight to 10 solid eco elastic. It's very, very stretchy, forgiving, but it powers up nice and quickly, so I can get control if I hook one of the bigger carp in the venue. In terms of the main line, the rigs are gonna take a lot of punishment. So I'm using 019 main line down to a 012 or an 014 hook length to a size 18 hook and a banded pellet. For the hook baits today, I'm using 4mm F1 Swibstin pellets, but as a target bait as well, I'm using the same pellet that I've added a bit of red dye to. I just find on certain days that red pellets get bites a lot quicker it's very much a target bait as they see it and hit it, as opposed to the normal feed pellets that I'll be introducing. Well, initially, to start the session off, I'd start with the, my deepest rig, introduce the first ball, and then follow that rig down and try and ascertain what depth the fish wanna feed at. Now, with that first introduction, if I don't get a bite, I've still got ground bait in my pole pot. So I can go back in, dip it back in, turn the rig over, almost slapping or laying the rig in. And then if I feel that I need to feed, I can still feed over the top. But initially what I'm trying to achieve is fish competing in that upper layer through the cloud of slot that I'm introducing. Once I've found what depth they're at, I can then go to the applicable rig and catch those fish quicker. The feeding tends to be dictated on how quickly you're getting bites. The, the more you're catching, the more you're feeding, the more you're keeping the fish in those upper layers. There'll be times when you'll drop the first initial feed ball in, follow it down and it's fish on. So you, you're feeding very, very regularly. The easiest way to manage your peg when you're fishing slop is to go back to basics. So if they're on top and they're in a feeding frenzy, it's great because you can 
you know, catch them with the shallowest rig that you've got in your armory. But if you feel that it's not quite right, just cut back. Just slow things down, be a little bit more sensible. And it may well be that you just have to take a minute and turn the rig over and, and stop feeding the cloud altogether. And then once you feel that the peg management is back to normal, you can start introducing the slop again and get them back to where you want. But it's, it's easily done and it's easily corrected. Well, we've had a fantastic couple of hours at Westwood Lakes fishing slop shallow. Proof of the pudding, if you get your technique right, you can have a great day sport.